Hello vapors and the world of YouTube. I just wanted to shoot a quick video about safety and propylene glycol. The reason why I want to shoot this video is a lot of people have talked to me about it. A lot of people have said propylene glycol is antifreeze. If you've said that to me, it's not just you. I'm not singling anybody out. A lot of people have said it to me, so you know, I'm not out to hurt anybody's feelings. Um, but I was at the doctor's office yesterday. I walked in, there was a gentleman vaping and, um, which I thought was kind of weird and cool at the same time. He was talking to a lady and she was really sincerely interested in trying electronic cigarettes and getting off of tobacco. And she, she asked him, I sat down, she asked him about propylene glycol and if it was antifreeze and, and he said, his answer to her was, um, well, you know what, everything's going to hurt you, everything's bad for you, so, you know, you got to pick between the two evils, what you're, what you like better. And I just thought that was a really uneducated and ignorant answer and it probably was going to turn her off and you know what vaping might change her life as it did mine so I had to jump in there and kind of say well you know what no propylene glycol is is not as bad as antifreeze for you in the sense that you know like the old neighbor that you had when you were a kid who would put bowls of antifreeze out in the garage or his backyards because, uh, you know, the, the neighborhood cats and stray cats would come and take a dump in his garden. So he would try and exterminate those problems by putting antifreeze out. So it's not antifreeze in that sense. Does propylene glycol have the same... Um, principles does it work the same as antifreeze well in a way yes it does um, lower the temperature that water can freeze at when combined with water um, and they do put it in antifreeze the reason why they put it in antifreeze is to make it safer for humans to use because the old antifreeze wasn't very good for us you didn't want to get it on you um, and you certainly didn't want to drink it. Um, I wouldn't tell someone to go drink a liter or even, you know, a cup of propylene glycol, but for the amounts that I use it in, it's not too bad for me. Propylene glycol is GRAS approved, which uh, is an acronym for generally recognized as safe by the FDA. So it is safe for us to use. You're gonna find it in a lot of things around your house. If you go into your bathroom and you look around, you're gonna see it everywhere. If you've ever washed your hair or brushed your teeth or put gel in or used lip balm, you have used propylene glycol. Um, propylene glycol is used in a lot of foods that you eat. Um, Propylene glycol is used as a preservative. Propylene glycol is in your dog's food. Propylene glycol is actually in tobacco as well. It's used as a preservative in tobacco products. So if you're a cigarette smoker right now, you are already consuming propylene glycol. So, you know what? It, is it bad? Well, Maybe, maybe it's not as good as you want it to be, but is it as bad as antifreeze? Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, propylene glycol is also used in pharmaceuticals. So you will find it oral, injectable, topical. Um, you'll find it in uh, stuff like diazepam or lorazepam, which are uh, insoluble with water. Um, Propylene glycol has been around us for a long time. Um, propylene glycol has probably been around since, I, th I think, around the 40s. So, um, are your parents or your parents' parents dying because of propylene glycol exposure? I don't think so. I think that 
if if I were to have a problem with propylene glycol, it would have to do with a lot of other things as well. It would probably have to do with my diet and, you know, eating too much sugar and having too much stress and throwing a mixture of cancer, you know. So I don't think propylene glycol is that bad for you. I've been vaping for the last few months and I feel a thousand times better than I did when I smoked traditional analog cigarettes. I smell better. I can breathe better. I can taste again. So really, it's up to you to draw your own conclusion from this video whether you think propylene glycol is safe or not. I tend to think that to put minor amounts of propylene glycol into my system daily, which I've already been doing for probably all of my life, it's not so bad. Um, I vape about, you know, two or three milliliters of e-liquid in a day. Let's say 30% of that from the liquids that I use uh, is propylene glycol. That's very, very little. I wouldn't say it's okay to drink, you know, a gallon of propylene glycol. You might have an issue, you might have an allergic reaction, you might, who knows, right? Like if there's anybody out there who has tried that, please comment below and let me know because I think that would be interesting. But I just want to close by saying that, you know what? There's, there's a lot of people with a lot of opinions, and opinions are like assholes, everybody has one. So, I just want you to watch out for ignorance, because it's everywhere. And people might not know that they are ignorant, but they, they are. Um, and if you're, if you're reading an article, read all of it. Don't look at certain points. Don't read for those really negative points and then come to a conclusion from that. Look at something as a whole and from there, share that with people. So don't be ignorant, know the truth, be educated, and just remember to butt out, vape up, and breathe easy.